the texture of your hair, whether your earlobes are attached or not, the color of your iris. All of these depend on your genes and your DNA possibly won't change over the course of your life. But what if we could change what is expressed without even altering the DNA? Why do you look the way you do? Think of yourself as a Lego set. The output you see is what you look like and the instructions used to build the set. DNA. DNA is made by the base pairing of nucleotides. These nucleotides can make unique combinations. A segment of DNA is called a gene. Think of this. You type on notepad, make a web page, but it doesn't? That's because notepad doesn't understand you. So how can you communicate with notepad to make that web page? You program the web page, of course. You type in these commands and notepad understands you and you make a web page. Yes! During protein synthesis, similar things happen. The DNA can't leave the nucleus, so a gene sequence is copied into an mRNA strand and sent into the cytoplasm where the ribosome translates it into the protein the gene codes for. These proteins can be used to make your iris brown or whatever. But what if we don't want the protein to be made? Maybe because the gene is mutant and causes uncontrollable cell growth. What if I don't want the font to be red while keeping the whole thing the same? In my program, I take out the command that makes the font red. If the command is never there, then the font will never be red. RNA interference is a mechanism that interferes with messenger RNA. If the mRNA is not translated, the protein is not made. But how? We design a double-stranded RNA that is homologous to the mRNA made from the gene and we introduce it into the cell. An enzyme chops the double-stranded RNA into small fragments. One strand of the fragment is chosen by a protein to make a risk. The chosen strand becomes a guide for the risk to find the target mRNA. Therefore, the target mRNA is degraded while the DNA stays intact. But isn't that risky? What if other mRNAs also get degraded? If we need only the color to be removed, we only look for those commands to erase. Likewise, RNAi is also specific and targets only the chosen mRNA strands. For now, we can only imagine the improvements in medicine that RNAi will bring along. The only obstacle now is the few flaws it has. And with every advancement, we are one step closer to curing genetic disorders like cancer in conditions like AIDS. Thanks for watching.